Hello folks, Pickle here with an early game aspect roadmap for a archer style rogue build. I'll be going over some of the aspects that can be farmed from dungeons, thus you will be able to guarantee getting these legendary aspects. All you have to do is go complete the dungeon that is linked to the specific aspect that you want, and it will be added to your codex of power. Once you obtain the aspect in your codex, you can apply it to as many items as you desire. With the one caveat that it will always imbue the weakest form of the bit of the ability. As an example, if you imprint this aspect of corruption from your codex of power, it will always be the 20% minimum roll. Let's just take a brief look at the skill tree here. Just an idea of what I was working with during the beta and server slam weekends. So I usually was going with Puncture. The reason I like this is because of the uh, guaranteed vulnerable that you can apply as long as two blades out of the three hit your target. So very strong against bosses, uh, champion mobs, and so forth. Uh, I like Rapid Fire a lot. Good strong skill. I'm always a sucker for AoE slows. So I'm going to try as hard as I can to make Caltrops work in a build. Uh, I know it doesn't seem to be that popular among the community, but definitely going to try to make that work. Poison Trap. Deals a lot of damage. Fun skill to play with. And then I was going with both Shadow Imbuement and Poison Imbuement. Both very strong. Uh, because of that, no ultimate. You could certainly drop one of those, throw in an ultimate. I don't like the idea of not having an ultimate, but I think this is one I'm going to try it at first, as far as rogue. And key passive, really leaning into lucky hit and uh, crowd control, as well as the traps and whatnot. So I think this will probably be the best one. Get extra grenades for more stun. And then just a quick look at some of the passives. One point here, a little lucky hit, extra energy. So I can get up to this to have plus 15% increased lucky hit. Then we go over here for trap mastery, increased critical strike against vulnerable enemies. Pretty strong, I think. Precision imbuement, extra critical strike for your imbued skills. Uh, some more CC stun chance with lucky hit. Over here, we got extra poison damage. All three of these. Plus extra attack speed when poisoning. Work along poison imbuement and poison trap. Uh, here we put one point. Just so I get down to the extra vulnerable damage. Leaning into that as well. And that's about it for the passives. All right, so here's an overview of all the aspects that I will be targeting when the game launches. And then I'll go over each aspect and where to find them. I went with a defensive on the helm, the aspect of Siphoned Victuals, which has lucky hit, damaging a vulnerable enemy with a core skill, has a chance to drop a healing potion. And this can be found in Leviathan's Maw in Hawazar. Uh, defensive again on chest. The cheats aspect. You take 15% less damage from CC enemies. And whenever a CC enemy deals direct damage to you, you're going to gain 15% movement speed for 2 seconds. This one's in Luban's Rest in Skosglend. Uh, gloves get an offensive aspect of Retribution. Distant enemies have an 8% chance to be stunned when they hit you, and you also deal 20% increased damage to stunned enemies. This is in the Abandoned Mind Works in Kejistan. A defensive aspect on pants, the aspect of the protector, grants a barrier for 10 seconds when damaging an elite enemy with a 30 second cooldown. This is in the Lost Archives in Fractured Peak Zone. A utility aspect on the boots, the shared misery, 
This is lucky hit, 30% chance when you hit a CC enemy that the CC effect will then spread to another unaffected target. And this is in the Oblivion Dungeon in Hawazar. Uh, Ring gets another offensive, Trickster's Aspect. Caltrops also drops stun grenades. And this is in the Bastion of Faith in Dry Steps. Second ring, I'm going with a resource. I'm not certain that this will be necessary. I didn't really have much resource problems while playing in the beta, but I yeah, have to play it by ear. But we're doing an energizing aspect here, which generates three energy when attacking an elite with a basic skill. This is found in Sanguine Chapel in Fractured Peaks. Uh, the weapons can only imbue offensive. I'm going with Aspect of Arrow Storms. Lucky hit with marksman skills, have a chance to spawn an arrow storm. This is found in Howling Warren in Skazglen. The second weapon, I'm going with Aspect of the Expectant. When attacking with basic skills, they increase the damage of your next core skill up to 30%. This is in the Underroot in Skazglen. The Amulet slot gets a 50% bonus to whichever legendary aspect is placed here. So I think I'm going to try the Aspect of Corruption here first, which imbuement skills have a 20% increased potency against vulnerable enemies. And finally the ranged weapon slot. There is some debate about whether you should bother imbuing your main weapon or not while leveling. The issue here is that you really want to upgrade this slot as often as possible, since it's by far the biggest scaling for your damage. I don't know that the gold cost is going to be all that prohibitive, but the crafting material cost may be. Uh, personally, I plan to just play this slot by ear. Hopefully I'll be able to keep an imbuement on it, but we'll just have to see. Uh, this is also perhaps my least favorite aspect that I picked out here, uh, since I do prefer to stay on the move most of the time, but I went with Aspect of Inner Calm, which when you're standing still, this is going to increase your damage up to 30%, which nice chunk. And keep in mind that this weapon slot also gives you 100% bonus to the aspect, similar to the amulet slot getting the 50% bonus. In closing, I'd like to highlight a few of the aspects that are not in the Codex of Power, which could synergize well with this early build. I'll focus on acquiring some of these first through gambling with obols or targeted farming, etc. Kahlo the Nameless is perhaps the one I'm most interested to plug into this build, which gives a nice boost to lucky hit chance against CC enemies. Uh, Smiting Aspect is also intriguing, which increases the duration of CC, while also increasing crit chance against injured enemies. There's also the Exploiters Aspect in the Utility Bin, which adds to CC duration as well, and it also increases damage to unstoppable enemies. Our core skill Rapid Fire has a repeating aspect, which adds a ricochet mechanic to it. Hard to tell if this will be good enough to use, but definitely want to test it. Also of interest to me are some of the poison damage aspects. Aspects of Bursting Venom looks very strong. Not only does it drop a toxic pool that deals damage, but standing in the pool yourself also buffs you by removing the cooldown on poison imbuement, as well as the charge limit. There is toxic alchemist aspect. Seems pretty fun. AoE damage when combining the shadow imbued skills with poisoned enemies. And lastly, Andariel's visage, which triggers a poison nova on lucky hit. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this little Codex of Power roadmap of sorts will be helpful to any aspiring archer rogues when entering Sanctuary. I'm not ready yet.